Since the outbreak of the coronavirus, movement and access to services in Kampala has been challenged. This is the opportunity that Sheila used to render her door-to-door -door delivery services. People are so busy with their lives that they never get time to go and do this shopping by themselves. Also, the fact that people have a lot of things to do at home. Maybe they want to spend time with their children. I'm just that middleman that wants you to spend more time with doing something else and catching up with something else, as I do for you this nitty-gritty shopping. Sheila advertises her services on Facebook and WhatsApp to her contacts. She then receives the client's orders a day before on the same platforms, which she then uses as a reference when batching the commodities she buys. One kilo of goat or lamb. Hello? Goat, one kilo of goat. Uh -huh. Since January this year, she has grown to have an average of four to five orders a day. She credits the capabilities of her smartphone for allowing her to work with a small team. I use WhatsApp. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. I put these uh, messages about my deliveries. On WhatsApp, I send broadcast, uh, broadcast messages. I tell people, this is what I can do. The next thing you see, someone gives you a call. And you're like, how did you get to know about me? They say, I saw your flyer, I saw your WhatsApp. And it's, it's, it's very confusing. So I'm like, oh, this is good, this is good. So in this season, I've used WhatsApp, I've used phone calls. I've used Facebook and I've used my friends who have referred me several, several times. They just refer me. And then the other thing is that I've made connections with people in markets. Before when I did that business, I just made connections. So it's easier for me to just penetrate the market and tell the person, get for me this, get for me this, get for me this, and they will just deliver. Just like any other business, has to face some challenges. The biggest challenge I've faced is when a client calls you, they don't know you, you don't know them. And then you say, let me go ahead and do their shopping. Then you call their numbers, their numbers are off, they're not picking up. Trust me, I, there's a time that happened, I got a heart attack. I looked at the things I had in my hands, there were so many, the order was big, and the client was nowhere to be found. So in case you find that client who is untrustworthy, or maybe they were just joking about making an order, you, you find yourself in a situation where you have already purchased goods and you cannot be able to take them back. Just like Sheila, all the popular online shopping websites like Jumia.com and Amazon.com rely on the same business model. And that is connecting the supplier to their consumers. However, hereafter, even after the pandemic, it is important to note that businesses are going to have to heavily rely on smartphones or internet connected devices to be able to sustain their businesses. Reporting for UBC News, Wadilo Markanol at Kaleri Market.